everyone, so welcome back to my channel and the mailman just came and I finally got my delivery of Pat McGrath foundation, primer and setting powder. I believe there's no concealer. So anyway, let's unbox this together. So when you open it up, it's Pat McGrath. You can open it. So this is the first item that comes out. There is the setting powder the primer and the foundation so just gonna quickly unbox all this okay so this is the box for the primer just gonna open it up and this is the primer itself just gonna show you guys a close-up I've seen a couple of videos on it so basically this whole thing is plastic unfortunately and it comes around with a sticker which is very cheaply made you can see like the sticker is like already coming apart so that's not ideal at all and yeah this is how the sticker looks like I guess it looks luxurious in pictures but it's very cheap so basically it's just like a sticker finish and it's a plastic bottle you can open it up and this is the pump I guess it's good that it comes with a pump let's just see the texture first Okay, so just spreading it out so it feels quite balmy not too thick a silicone texture but it does feel a bit like a silicone base okay so there's a few claims on the box it says smooths hydrates and preps skin for a soft focus blurred effect runway tests it so yeah I'm just gonna use a bit of this and dab it into my enlarged pore areas we will test it product by product it has a very very beautiful smell I don't know it isn't florally it feels quite like like a musky a very light musky scent so I'm just pressing it in because I don't want to rub it into the skin because I don't think it will apply well that way by pressing it in you really get it to sink into the areas where you want I'm just gonna apply like just a little bit more I typically don't apply a lot of primer so this is really just to mask the enlarged pore area okay next we have the foundation I'm in the shade light 7 this is the carton it comes in opening it up so I think with that price point this is really what we are all paying for when it comes to Pat McGrath this is a glass bottle this is a sticker as well but it's very weighted and very hefty a packaging it comes with a pump this kind of packaging is very reminiscent of Estee Lauder double wear but just maybe a little bit more modern I'm gonna do half my face with this texture I'm glad I got a spot on colour, like I think I did really well on that front. Okay, I'm going to apply the right side of my face using a beauty blender. So I'm just going to read off some of the claims on the box. It's buildable, perfecting coverage, weightless texture, sublime satin finish. So it's supposed to be a satin finish. and. From what I've seen, from what people also have been saying, it's not the most full coverage thing but we will see. On my skin, I tend to have like, you know, freckles and scarring. Alright, so I'm not sure if you guys can see but this is with one light layer compared to this side. I still see like a couple of my blemishes and freckles but it's a very natural finish which I love. And I'm just going to build up a bit more product to see how much coverage we can actually get. What do you guys think? I think shade match, it matches like my neck pretty well. I think overall the finish is just super beautiful. This is kind of giving me, I haven't tried that other foundation before, but it's kind of giving me Estee Lauder nude skin wear. I believe there's this, you know, Estee Lauder, the, the counterpart to the double wear, the really full coverage one. They have like a more nude, more, you know, skin like finish. This is giving me that kind of serum vibes and I really really like it I think it makes my skin look super healthy and the coverage is decent enough for me because I don't typically love a full coverage kind of foundation so I'm just gonna finish up the other side
All right, and this is both sides done. I have a really huge red zit here. I didn't really cover it, but I believe it kind of like blurred it a little bit, but I still think my skin looks really, really beautiful. I don't know. It doesn't feel very tacky actually, but I believe just as I did that, it left fingerprint marks. But yeah, that's when the setting powder comes in, which we will use a bit later. But I haven't really gotten a full sensing of it. I'm gonna give it some time to set, but so far this is very reminiscent of a lot of the textures that I like. The quality and the kind of runniness of this foundation is very similar to the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum which is way cheaper but it's very kind of runny and I love that kind of serum quality because it just means that it's not gonna feel very thick on the face it doesn't feel like it will rub off so far so good I'm really really liking it okay next this is the powder in light one it looks like this you know with Pat McGrath a lot of the times we just expect it to be very luxurious a packaging so I'm surprised they opted to use plastic so this is how the powder looks like i don't believe it's translucent so this might be really light but yeah i got the set and they matched me to light one i'm gonna use a dual fiber brush because it will pick up a little bit of product and we can see how it builds Alright, so this powder, I'm not sure if you guys can see because it's super super fine. Like when I pick it up with my fingers, it's like super soft. It's really really soft. It feels almost like even as fine as the finest powder that I have so far. So it kind of melts into the skin really beautifully. You can't really tell it's on the skin and my skin feels like baby but soft it's like pretty amazing i also purchased a lot of other items a lot of other makeup products from pat mcgrath i'm just going to speed through this section but if you guys want to know what my recommended makeup items other makeup items from this brand check out the description box i will leave a star at those items Alright, and this is the final look using all Pat McGrath products and 
Yes, I must say that the combination of the primer, foundation and the liquid really proved to be a very excellent base for this type of a makeup look. You can see my eyes kind of have this holographic shift to it with a halo center so it makes it very like ethereal and the highlight is actually a duochromatic highlight. So everything going on on the skin is very sort of glossy, metallic so the skin doesn't need to be that heavy and everything just works super super well. Like I mentioned my top recommendations for all the products that I use will be listed in the description box and it will be annotated with a star for those products that I highly highly recommend. In terms of the combination of these three kind of base products my in-depth review will be in the description box as well but right off the bat I think after three products the foundation is definitely my favorite. It plays into that serum quality which I love so so much. I think the packaging for the primer is a little bit like really a letdown. I did see like the benefits of it. It definitely smoothed out my pores. It smells amazing. This is a little bit bougie. You can find a more affordable dupe in the drugstore. I'll probably find dupes for all of this and I'll do a separate video but if you guys enjoyed this do give it a thumbs up. Like I mentioned this is just a kind of initial application to show you guys up close how it looks like but you guys definitely need to check the description box for my prolonged wear test where I really give you in-depth feedback of how it wore, whether it broke up on my skin, whether the, it delayed oil production, whether the powder delayed my oil production and everything like that. So if any other question leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!